Schönen guten Abend allerseits. Hier sind wir im Park Inn Hotel in Dortmund. Wir haben heute ein paar besondere Gäste. Wir haben Johnny und Pete vom äh, Type of Negative zu Gast heute für unsere kleine Videoshow. You go like this, I go like this. <laughs> and also, um, those flowers are for you, for me. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> they're, they're full of wasps. These are fire ants. <laughs> So, but listening to the album, it seems like uh, I have the first impression was uh, well, there's not really much for the Gothic girlies this time on this album. It's more like a, uh, on one way more aggressive stuff, on the other hand, more the more uh, 70s inspired jammy stuff. Brother, I have I have all all the Gothic girls I need. Okay. <laughs> at this point. Okay. That's some some uh, maybe too many. <laughs> you know, especially like the ones that come to my house in Brooklyn at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Let's call the police. <laughs> Fucking military. <laughs> Going in, making this record, there wasn't any like uh, set like direction. You know, there wasn't any like, <coughs> decision like this is what we're gonna do. You know, like this we're gonna go for more of this kind of uh, you know vibe or uh, environment. Yeah. You know, and uh, pretty much the songs were gone. It was just dictating. You know, it was telling us. You know. Where the where we were going with the record, yeah. Well, I mean, it's the interesting. So, so you know, hence there wasn't that much of an element. Hence, hence, Lesbian. There was Schauspieler. A, yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking about the life situation. I mean, yeah, quite some albums these days, and uh, quite some uh, well, a lot of long songs. And I mean, you can't play for four hours on stage, so you know, no, he was never. <laughs> Never, ever, ever. 90 so, minutes, I think, is, is, is reasonable. We'll probably do an hour and a half. Yeah, so the, the, then there's uh, only, I don't know, 10 songs left for 90 minutes or something like that. Yeah, that's quite right. And um, one of my ideas was uh, once this next album is released, to put it up on the band's website to have fans vote for the songs that they'd like to hear live. Mm. Um, I mean, I, I don't really mind playing Black Number One, I don't mind playing Christian Woman, I don't mind playing Love You to Death. But after like literally a thousand times playing the songs, <laughs> if fans want to hear something else, I, I I think it's fair to offer them the the opportunity to, to vote. Yeah. Uh, it it also formulates a sense of uh, mutualism and it gets the fans involved. And Maybe there's a couple of obscure songs out there that a lot of fans really want to hear that we just never thought, well, okay, you know, if they want to hear that, then we'll play it. Yeah. Um, I know from a lot of bands, uh, or musicians who went to the same problem that uh, uh, a lot of it was because uh, the, uh, what do you call it, after tour syndrome, like you, you come home and the adrenaline's gone, no shows. Uh, uh, it's kind no of depressing. Yeah, yeah, <clears> it's very depressing. It's like after the party's over and like you just look around at your house and there's spilled beer, full ashtrays, vomit all over the place, shit in the toilet, it's like, man, party's over, you know? It's kind of depressing. So we, we took a few months off after that. You know? He's the kind of guy, though, when we're on the road, he's totally miserable because we're on the road. <laughs> and all he wants to do is go home. And then the minute we get home, we're home for a week. Then he wants to go back out on the road. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Much like Glenn Danzig, you know, um, Johnny and Kenny play with Glenn. What I'd like to do is um, turn my house in, into a rock club and just fly people in so I never have to leave. <laughs> Let them sleep over, you know, cook them breakfast, wake the fuck up. <laughs> no, I was, I was reading for them this morning, like, these three things sound pretty, pretty interesting. Could this really be an uh, anti-abortion message from Mr. Steele? I believe that life is the ultimate gift from God, and, and I don't believe that any one person had, has the right to, you know, take life. And I've been asked by certain people, well, well then how, how can you possibly explain, you know, taking the lives of animals to eat them? Well, my answer is, when we start to eat fetuses, it'll make it okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's just for, for me personally, it, it's not an option that I would want to choose. Yeah. And I feel that I've got a right to actually comment on it because, uh, I had a girlfriend about 25, 30 years ago who, uh, you know, we, 
we made a mistake and she, she did wind up, you know, getting an abortion. And I, I do regret that because I feel it, it was the wrong thing, but I don't judge people. Yeah. You know, if, if that, if that's what someone needs to do, uh, I just, I think everyone would, you know, probably agree with the fact that it should not be used as a form of birth control. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, uh, that's, uh, and, and an un unborn child should should not have to, you know, pay the price because you, you were too lazy to go to the pharmacy to get a condom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, um, the last song I wanted to pick up was The Prophets of Doom. So, who, who are the prophets? I like the I, way you said that, The Prophets of Doom. Sorry. <laughs> I, I am the prophet of doom. Okay. So you benefit or you foretell? I warn. You what? I warn. You warn. Uh, warn the people from what mistakes? I, if, man, if mankind does not change its ways, that God will not forgive man until man forgives man. Mm -hmm. And uh, Friday, April 13th, the year 2029, there's an asteroid on its way, and its name is Apophis. Mm -hmm. And if we don't all, all get together and try to do something to deflect this uh, space rock, it's not going to hit the Earth, but it's going to hit the moon, and then the real fun begins. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like a living science fiction movie. Okay. And I will be there with you. <laughs>